Daily Dosers, we're talking about suffering and what it means to be prepared for the storms in our life. We're going to be in the book of Psalm. Uh, it's the middle of your Bible. See that guy? Just kind of flip it open. You probably will hit the book of Psalms. <clears throat> it's a song book. So these things were originally meant to be set to music, but they offer incredible truth for us, especially some of these in, in the midst of our suffering. And I want you to hear it as I'm reading the Psalm, Psalm chapter 46. Just hear the noise of the Psalm. And in the, in, the, in the noise of it, it's going to talk about oceans raging and wars waging and, and there's, there's this hostility and, and this resurgence and this, and you can just try to hear all of the different noise in the middle of this thing. And then it's interrupted by a really cool phrase that I think speaks to a lot of us in, in the middle of our noise and suffering right now. Psalm 46 verse one says this, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Almost all Psalms start this way. The thesis is given right up front, and then the author is going to kind of take the rest of the whole chapter and talk about how that's true. So that's the main. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, because of that, verse one, therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way, right? So start listening to this. The earth falls. The earth is starting to collapse. The mountains fall into the heart of the sea. You got these big mountainous ranges just chucked in and the waves they're creating and it's up, it, though it's ro waters roar and foam, the mountains begin to quake with their surging. There's a river that flows through the middle of it and the holy place where the most high dwells. God is within her for she shall not fall. He'll be with her at the break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. His voice shouts. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolation he has brought on the earth. He brings the wars to cease. The, the, to cease. the ends of the earth. He breaks a bow. He shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted in the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. That God is with you. That God is your fortress. I wonder if when this song was originally being sung, I wonder if there was, if there were these crescendo moments where it talks about this. And I wonder if the whole, in my head, all, all of the noise drops out and there's just this acapella still voice that says, be still and know that I am God. In the middle of the noise, of suffering, it can be so easy to get lost in more noise or turning to more noise or getting more opinions or reading more self-help books or doing all that stuff. And I love Jesus's call here in the midst of all this chaos. And he just, he seems to just calm us down, almost like putting a hand on our shoulders or, you know, even over our mouth or on our head as a father would and just saying, just stop. Are you aware of who's in control? I know, I know, I know it's crazy. I know it's wild. I know the marriage. I know it, I know. Did you know that nothing happens on this earth that doesn't cross my desk first, God says? But you don't understand our, the way that our government and the way that these, and this law passed and this thing and all these things that are going on and did, God goes, did you know that I'm in control of who's in control too? Did you know that God sees this the end from the beginning, the, the, the beginning from the end. Do you know that God oversees it? He you know he's transcendent? Would you just be still? Practice stillness of your heart and just remember two things. Our God, there's nothing more powerful than God. And there's nothing deeper than his love for you. And if just those two truths remain, when everything else seems to fall into the heart of the sea and everything else seems to go, everything else seems to fade away, when the marriage seems to be over, are you aware that God's in control of everything that's in control and that he knows you and loves you intimately? Sometimes I think when everything else, the noise is so loud, we have to return just the simple truths. And I love how it does it. It says, in the midst of all, would you just be still and remember that he is God? Verse 11 almost seems to be the sigh of relief. As almost the author is saying, oh yeah, the Lord, the Almighty One is with us and the God of Jacob, that's the God of the Bible, is our fortress. It seems to allow us to give this exhale in our life. Whatever trial you're in, would you just breathe in? Be still and know that He is God. We'll see you tomorrow.